I'm Ann McAvick at a live news desk, and we have some breaking news right now. The Trump administration, from the Trump administration, he just signed an executive order that basically targets undocumented immigrants when it comes to redrawing congressional lines. This was a presidential memorandum to exclude undocumented immigrants from being counted in the U.S. Census when it comes to those lines. Basically, that determines uh, the populations in various cities, congressional districts, and counties. Here is what this memorandum Random says in part, I have accordingly determined that respect for the law and protection of the integrity of the democratic process warrant the exclusion of illegal aliens from the apportionment base to the extent feasible and to the maximum extent of the president's discretion under the law. Now, this is sure to face legal challenges along the way. In the Constitution, it says that congressional districts should be uh, based on uh, how many whole free people are living in the area it does not specify American citizens. So we will keep an eye on that. Back to you. Right now, fire investigators in Oakland are trying to figure out what sparked an early morning fire that burned through a two-story building, knocking down part of the roof. KPIX5 reporter Kit Doe was on the scene and spoke to some victims who say they were lucky to escape. So the fire had been smoldering for some time, right in the dead of night. And by the time the residents figured out what was happening, the entire building was engulfed in smoke and flame. In fact, we spoke with one resident who had to dangle off the windowsill of a second story bedroom window and then jump to safety. Amazingly, everybody got out okay. That whole building is gone. 45 firefighters tried to save the building on the corner of MLK and 31st Street in downtown Oakland, but it was not enough. After a while, battling the flames from inside was just too dangerous. They got out just before the roof collapsed. And we attacked this thing from, you know, from every direction. Had crews inside for about 25 minutes and we pulled everybody out, dumped a ton of water on it, went back in and, you know, cleaned up the hot spots. It's not clear what sparked the fire, but the point of origin was outside. But it's a U-shaped building and the fire was started in a courtyard in the middle of the U, extended both sides. We're sitting in here. And I got up and I smell smoke and I told myself, I smell smoke. Tasha Cork lived in this unit and says she was lucky her boyfriend was there to place her in her wheelchair and help her evacuate. On her way out, she was screaming to her neighbors. Looked up and see the fire and I'm like, what the hell? And they said, everybody get out. They said, everybody get out, fire in the back, fire in the back. And we just rushed out of here. A total of nine people living in the four units are now displaced, including Tasha. Firefighters did go back inside to rescue two cats. At this point, all Tasha wants now are the photos of her mom who died last year. I'm just glad I'm here. You know, and 